Uh, I know now, after all the phone calls that I've made the past few days, that that event in Aurora was totally faked, that nobody died. Now at five, a Portland man accused of placing a series of cruel and harassing phone calls to victims of mass shootings hundreds of miles away. It is five o'clock, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. Kelly is off tonight, and victims of the Aurora, Colorado theater shooting claim this man, Kevin Perfield, from here in Portland, contacted them, spouting off conspiracy theories that the movie theater shooting and others across the country were all nothing but a big hoax. Jessica Morkert attended Perfield's first court appearance today. And Jessica, you learned that Portland police have been contacted about this man before? Yes, and he was actually taken to the hospital on a mental health call last, last October. But he was never arrested for anything, or at least not by Portland police, until now. A YouTube search of Kevin Perfield pulls up dozens of video clips, including one of a conversation Perfield says he had with Gregory Medic whose daughter, Michaela, was gunned down in the Aurora, Colorado movie theater shooting last July. He said, I held my daughter's lifeless body, I think is what he said. And I said, no, you didn't, because she wasn't killed. There was no shooting. And in the background on the phone, I hear a woman yell, well, where are they? Perfield was arrested near his northeast Portland home Wednesday and booked on five counts of harassment and stalking. According to court documents, Portland police began investigating Perfield in February after they say he posted YouTube clips explaining that he wanted Portland police officers to die. Aurora, Colorado police also launched an investigation in February after grieving Aurora movie theater family members reported harassing voicemails, emails, and text messages. I don't believe that she is because uh, I know that there wasn't a shooting in Aurora. And um, I think it's just absolutely uh, amazing or shocking, actually, that these news media outlets can reach so many millions of people with horrible information. Neighbors say Perfield rented a room at this Northeast Portland home. When you heard the allegations, what did you think? That was pretty creepy, and I didn't like the thought of him being in the neighborhood. This woman did not want to be identified, but tells Coin Six what she witnessed made her uncomfortable. I'm not knowing the person, I, I don't want to say anything bad or anything that I don't know for a fact, but just the way he moved and the way he kind of, you know, just stare just kind of made me nervous, didn't give me good feeling. So. Now, both the prosecution and defense explained today in court that Perfield has had a history of mental illness. The judge increased his bail from $10,000 to $100,000, and he pled not guilty today in court. His next court appearance is going to be on May 17th. In downtown Portland, Jessica Morker to Point Six News.